Friends and classmates of 1978's Woodward High School in Cincinnati could never have imagined that their 40th reunion would put some of them on a course of purpose, racial unity, giving back to the community, and a formation of a nonprofit organization called Humanity Not Insanity. Now a few months under two years old, Humanity Not Insanity are on their fifth community event and the second annual Family Unity Holiday Board Game event. The date is December 10th, 2022. Commotion fills the air as kids and young adults move about an event space packed with families from the Cincinnati and surrounding area. They come together for an afternoon of quality family time. An event like this doesn't just pop up out of the blue. So how did we get to this point? Kevin from Humanity Not Insanity and his band Bagora held two rock shows in November alongside other bands from New York. While both of these shows were free admission, they instead asked patrons of the venues, Laurel Tavern and Shalala Tavern, to bring a board game to further Humanity Not Insanity's goal of assisting underprivileged families this holiday season. Incredibly enough, a massive haul of board games and toys were received throughout both shows. With the game secured, Humanity Not Insanity was ready to kick off this year's Family Unity game event. The aim of this event, like last year's, was to bring the families together for an afternoon filled with family-focused games and toys. So with that in mind, they returned to the Living God Church in Cincinnati for the second year in a row. The event venue looked absolutely incredible. There were some familiar sights, as well as some new additions for this year. The group upped their game with the giant Connect 4 that had some miniature hoops on the side, and Jenga, both of which the family sure seemed to enjoy. At each of the tables, there were also a variety of games for families to play. Some families had Sorry, Go Fish, Don't Break the Ice, Connect 4, Clue, and Hungry Hungry Hippos. Throughout the day, we got some feedback from families and members of Humanity Not Insanity. Oh, today was amazing, very pleasant. I felt a lot of good warmth, a lot of smiles, a lot of happy children and wonderful grandparents. We just work, we feed off each other. It's not pre-planned what we're gonna do next or who's doing what. We just kind of go with the flow and things are always work out so well with us. Everything is 100%. So this and the families, it's like it's growing. It was nice bringing my family up here because we don't normally do family games. So this was convenient and new for us. So I'm gonna keep trying to keep it up. So it was pretty nice. Um, I was really excited as always um, because I'm responsible for contacting the families. Uh, also reminding them of the event. So just always hopeful that the families will still be able to attend. And I love this event, and this was a very successful event. What's super fun for me is you know little kids want to come to an event like this and that they're going to enjoy every minute of it. But there were also big kids that maybe were a little reluctant coming out with mom today. And over the course of the day, they started to enjoy themselves and smile and laugh. We were intentional in encouraging the families to understand the purpose of the event and spending time with their children, you know, listening to their children. I was really excited to share how important it is that families know how to embrace their children when they're um, playing games and they're losing and to try to turn that around because it really is okay to lose. You don't have to win all the time, but learning how to lose also helps you to learn how to win. Man, I couldn't be any happier and we certainly want to thank uh, Living God Church and Sil Watkins for the use of his facility. We really want to thank our friends at Knox Church for joining us. Members of the Knox Church have been with us at every event since we first started and their support and involvement means a lot to us. Today I'd like to take one minute and talk about my dear friend who's no, no longer with us and co-founder of Humanity Not Insanity, Will Thomas. And I woke up this morning thinking a lot about Will and in my mind I dedicated today to Will. But Will's love and concern for me when I was a kid and kind of floundering around and that, that love and that friendship that started 47 years ago is really the beginning and how we ended up here today. Because without Will and without Will's knowledge of the right people to get involved in this group, this would never have happened. And I want to say Will Thomas in heaven looking down upon us, we love you, man. That's it. So there you have it. An event such as this would not have been possible without the amazing efforts of the people at Humanity Not Insanity and support from an incredible community.